so let's proceed ahead with the method of preparation of alkane until now we have seen certain methods of dimerization and those dimerization reactions help us to get a symmetrical alkane now we are going to see a next method of preparation of alkane this is called as Curry house synthesis and in this we can prepare a unsymmetrical alkene as well in this reaction we begin with a alkyl halide we add lithium to it on adding lithium what happens this intuitively you can know on adding lithium lithium is a active metal it will lose electron and that electron will go into anti bonding of R resulting in removal of X so I am writing it directly and I hope you can catch catch up with this after losing electron lithium will have a plus charge and R after gaining two electrons will have a negative charge so this R minus will be with Li plus and this X minus will go out with another Li plus there will be two lithium ion ionized because this R will require two electrons for this X to be removed off as X minus so this this is a stable lithium ion is a stable and this halide ion is a stable so this is not of much of a use for us in the reaction this is an active component because negative charge is on R now hereafter if we add cuprous iodide or cuprous bromide or cuprous chloride what happens is there is a complex formed between R copper and lithium the copper forms a good complex so what happens is you have R2 Cu Li now this complex is called as Gilman's reagent this you must know later on we will study this reagent but for now this is Gilman's reagent and this copper is in plus one state this is cup cuprous form of copper there is plus one charge on copper plus one charge on lithium and there are two R having minus one charge each so that's how the charge is balanced apart from Gilman's reagent you will have LIX accordingly right? now we have Gilman's reagent now this Gilman's reagent is nothing if you look at this LIX now this is this will be a mere expectator substance or reagent in the system because Li is a, a stable ion Li plus is stable it enjoys a noble gas configuration of helium X minus is also a stable ion here if you look at Cu plus is a stable ion Cu plus has a pseudo noble gas configuration and this Li plus is a stable the only unstable the only reactive part in the system will be R minus now suppose in this Gilman's reagent of R2 Cu Li I added R dash X now this R dash can be anything but this has to be a 1 degree alkyl halide or at most 2 degree alkyl halide for the reason we will be seeing but suppose this Gilman's reagent I prepared and after preparing Gilman's reagent I added another alkyl halide now what perhaps can happen now after studying previous four reactions you can easily guess what could happen here the, here al in alkyl halide you have a very good leaving group whenever you see alkyl halide you will get a feeling that there can be a substitution reaction now here you have a nucleophile which is having a negative charge on carbon this R minus if, 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 if just for the sake of understanding if I separate, R, separate out these two R minus this R minus will go and attack this R dash because of backside attack from the front this X will take away its electron and come out as X minus so X minus will be removed off because of the backside attack of R minus R minus is attacking because it's unstable its electron it is incapable of holding that negative charge so it has to put that electron somewhere now from we understand very well that this electron is going into the anti-bonding orbital electron always moves from orbital to orbital here 
the electron is in the orbital of carbon and after the bonding orbital and it is going to the anti-bonding orbital of R dash but we don't show those orbitals we just show the transfer of electron via these arrows so this R minus will give electron to the anti-bonding of this R dash and they will form a bond R R dash like this so this will be a alkane this can be any alkane it can be symmetrical it can be unsymmetrical it can be uh, anything and if you have to balance it then lithium plus charge will get clubbed with X minus and you will have a RCU left out plus charge cuprous form of copper and a minus charge on R right this is the organic product we are interested in this this is the alkane right now because it is a substitution reaction because it's a backside attack if there is hindrance then this reaction will not occur with the required effici efficiency so this should be for, for a higher yield of the product this should be one degree if we have two degrees then the reaction will occur but the yield will be very less if we have three degrees then the reaction will not occur so preferably the alkyl halide on which the attack has to be done that should be one degree fine for example suppose I have to suppose I give you I give you three methyl octane I'm not writing hydrogen just 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 because of brevity and so that we can work it out fast suppose I have given you 3 methyl 3 methyl octane right now if you have to prepare this through curry house synthesis there can be various substrates that you can take suppose you start with 3 bromo octane you can start with 3 bromo octane now you can make a Gilman's reagent of 3 bromo octane and then once you have a Gilman's reagent that means once you have a negative charge on this carbon then you can have a methyl iodide and you can carry out this SN2 reaction that will give you the best yield right because if this methyl this carbon is 0 degree then the rate of SN2 reaction will be highest or else you can go with other substrates as well suppose you break it like this suppose you start with 2-bromobutane if you start with 2-bromobutane then also if you form a Gilman's reagent like this then bromine will go out as X minus here and gil a negative charge will come on the same carbon where the bromine was attached on the second carbon now after if, if and then then what is left out is this 5 carbon chain then you can have a 1 bromo pentane it is 1 degree the rate of reaction will be sufficient and the yield will be sufficient so the thing that you have to keep in mind is the alkyl part on which the attack is taking place that must be 1 degree if it is 0 degree it is very good or else it should be 1 degree for the substantial yield Right. this is how you have to choose which R should form Gilman's reagent and which R should be attacked during SN2 reaction this is Corey House synthesis